I once heard someone say, everyone will leave you except for bubble tea. So that was a fucking lie. So working from home also means making your own bubble tea in this emergency episode of Cook From Home. Want to eat? Can go out. How about you cook from home? So welcome to episode 2 everyone, if you don't already know, this is a show where an amateur cook like myself attempts at recreating dishes from TV shows and films. However, we're not doing that today. Instead, we are helping the people of Singapore cope with a very recent loss in their lives by making our very own homemade bubble tea. So we have a few ingredients here today. So to make the bubbles or the boba or the bibi, first you need tapioca flour and to make it sweet, you need brown sugar. To make the tea, you need 3 bags of whichever tea of your preference. You need white sugar for the syrup. And finally, you need milk for the milk tea. At the end, I'll rate this beverage based on its price, difficulty, the time it took, and finally whether you should cook this from home. Uh, I've always been more of a Oreo crush from Sweet Talk kind of guy, which is exactly why I'm here to show you that if a casual like me can make bubble tea, so can you. Now let's start off with the easy part, which is making the tea. First thing you have to do is boil some water. As the water is boiling, we assemble whichever tea bag of your preference. If you're making about a litre's worth of tea, you need three tea bags. I'm just gonna fill it 80% because the other 20% will come from the milk. The tea is gonna cook for 10 minutes. So while we wait, we can sort of prepare our syrup which will be the gauge of what sugar level we want our milk tea to be. So we get ourselves a pot, we turn on the heat. And what we're gonna fill it up with is um, one cup of water and two cups of sugar. Stir to make sure the water and the sugar incorporates well together. Once you see no sugar inside within your syrup, you can turn off the heat. The tea has brewed. Since I already have 800 milliliters of tea in here, I'm gonna fill the next 200 milliliters with milk. So I'm just gonna taste this. This is not even 0% milk tea, this is like negative 25. But when we are assembling our milk tea, we'll be using the syrup. So now I can put the milk tea in the fridge so that when I'm assembling my milk tea, the milk tea will be very cool. But this was the easy part. Now this is the hard part, making the bubbles. Number one, boil some water. As your water is boiling, now we assemble our tapioca flour. Grab yourself a pot and we're gonna add in 9 tablespoons of flour. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, six, seven, eight, nine. So the most important thing at this stage is boiling water. Not hot water, boiling water. We are going to add a total of 5 tablespoons of boiling water. Add 3 first, mix it, followed by another 2. Immediately continue stirring. So now use your hands to feel whether there is a bit of doughy texture. So I can sort of feel a doughy texture which is when you take your flour and just dust the tabletop. We're going to knead the dough. If right now your mixture is breaking apart, don't worry. Just add in boiling water. Fold and press. Fold and press. It looks a little bit soggy, so I'm just gonna drizzle a bit of flour. So this in itself can be one big boba. Now we're gonna roll it into a log. Cut it in two. Slowly roll it into a snake. We cut it in two again, and then we're gonna roll it. So this is what I have right now. What I'm gonna do is to cut both snakes so that I can roll them into little bobas. After like close to a half an hour of just rolling, you'll get something that looks a little like this. Right now, it's time to cook these babies. So I'll see you over there. So we are back here with our little bubble tea balls. How do we cook them? First, we need to get a pot full of water and then boil it. Just enough for the balls to float. Once um, the pot is boiling, now we can put in our balls into the boiling water. Now we have to wait 15 minutes for it to cook. So see you in 15 minutes. A few moments later. It's just a little over 15 minutes. Right now, we're going to turn off the heat and let it rest for another 5 to 10 minutes. See you again in another 5. 5 minutes later. Now before we even take the balls out, we need to prepare ourselves with uh, brown sugar. We're gonna caramelize the brown sugar with the balls by adding it straight onto it because it's now piping hot. So it is chewy. It does taste like the pearls that you find in a brown sugar milk tea. They're quite nice actually. Okay guys, here we are at the final stage. We have our pearls, we have ice, we have our tea, and finally we have our homemade syrup. What's left to do is to assemble our bubble tea. We take our pearls, a handful of ice, pour into the cup. Now before that, we have to get to 0% before we go any higher, which is 2 tablespoons of the syrup we made. So now this milk tea with 2 tablespoons of syrup is at 0%. Wow, that tastes like your standard milk tea. Woo! I'm not just gonna let you take my word for it. I'm gonna let like my mom try out this homemade milk tea that I just did. <laughs> so that's it for today's emergency episode of Cook From Home. The price adds up to $10 with only 5 ingredients. This is by far the most difficult beverage I've had to prepare. 
so I'm giving it a 5 star difficulty, mostly due to the pearls. I took about an hour and a half to finish everything. In the end, if I'm craving for bubble tea, I'd rather wait for the end of Circuit Breaker. If you want to satisfy that bubble tea craving, this is the recipe for you. I'm gonna indulge in this, so see ya!